Hello folks, Tyler here, aka Tyler3967, and I'm back since I've uploaded my song cover for a good start. Before anyone asks, yes, I'm still in good health and aware of this virus going on around our world. Such a tough journey it's been to go through for almost a whole year now. True, it's not been fun for me, but that didn't stop me from staying positive and happy during this madness. Well, almost when it comes to dealing with my temper problem because of this whole COVID-19 problem going around all over the world, but I won't get into that much. Before this happened though, I have been going through times researching carefully, learning my mistakes, and being aware of what's been happening throughout a decade ago. For example, why YouTube is always being a butt these days, whether by humans or bots, people turning from civilized to mean-spirited and listening to news filled with lies unless there's actual proof about it without interference. In the end, none of these matter to me nowadays because I have no time to waste with toxic people causing drama and rumors over nothing at all. My only purpose today is to keep going entertaining folks with a good heart and positive way in my videos today and in the future. I would also like to apologize to those who I've known for so long while being kind of a pest to them years ago, it was unexpected and childish I did due to dealing with anxiety while learning to get over it and move on. I hope you're all doing well so far with your own lives and staying safe until a miracle comes in sooner or later this year. For those who are new and unsure about this, it's a long story so I won't go there for everyone else's sake. I also want to remind you all that I'm slowly getting back into making videos once again. I know I've said it multiple times before, though there were unexpected moments I wasn't even prepared to face yet. For example, once more, new Mac computer due to iMovie not working for photos anymore, and blue Yeti mic not working, though my blue snowball I'm using still works, until it's fixed or I buy a new one for Christmas. It was just something I couldn't understand why it keeps happening. It's not my condition of autism or bad luck, no, because I'm proud of who I am. It's just some things I hate when unexpected things happen for no apparent reasons, unless there is one. Now, I know I'm not the only one who went through all that, because I'm sure everyone else has been through it as well. So far, it's not the end of the world for me, so I'm always going to keep getting up and try again, no matter what happens in the real world. Now then, aside from the sad slash boring moments, I want to talk about what I'll be trying to do and catch up on when a new year starts. For those who are still wondering about the next generation of Connor and Friends, I'm still working on it and want to get back into it. However, for those who are new about this, it just takes time to get it done alone, which is not so bad unless I need help from one of my friends with the stories to make it look a little better. Plus, I'm slowly going to be composing slash arranging music from GarageBand for the show because of YouTube's stupid rules which makes no sense whatsoever at all. Don't worry too much though, I'll still add some music scores that haven't been affected by YouTube's copyright rules so far. Though, it sounds pretty scary when it comes to being fined for no apparent reason when you're hardly making money at all. Lord, please help me. But hey, you know what? I've been on here for a decade, and as long as I'm not making money off of the rightful owner's works, it should be fair to borrow it for entertainment and all. Now, for those who are aware of the ratings in my future series, this show will be suitable for general audiences over the age of 13 as well as 16 in some episodes later on due to YouTube's new rules by COPPA. For those who are new and don't know what COPPA is, go check it out on Google and you'll understand what I mean. Now, it may look innocent and kid-friendly, but as the series goes on, it's not going to be like it, especially unlike Mattel's version of turning Thomas and Friends into a childish nonsense show for toddlers to watch brainlessly. Yeah, I know that feeling too, but we won't talk about that. But I will say, even though I hardly watch much of the show these days, except the classic version and season 17 to 24, I'll never forget how much they've inspired me to be a train enthusiast in the future someday. And so, here I am, still loving this kind of hobby no matter what the world goes through these days. So, if you or your parents don't like watching my videos I've made, there's no point wasting time complaining at shows that is not supposed to be for kids to watch. The simplest thing to do is ignore it and move on watching other shows you find better than this. It's not an absolute big deal about it, so please try to understand that and research more about it.
So, aside from that, not only will I try to continue working on the next generation of my old series, I will also try to do more MLP comic dubs and slowly making song covers in the future so I won't get bored about it. Just as long as I don't try to waste time with drama, politicians, and YouTube's stupid ways of turning this website into a child's play website or something. Extremely slowly. Maybe not, but who knows. Lastly, I've gotten used to talking with other folks online, including new friends I've made this year during this pandemic, and I couldn't be more happy to be socializing much until life comes back to normal this month. Before or after Christmas, or New Year's, or around April. Depends when the vaccines are completed and ready to be delivered, which they are, but probably have to wait until all the folks are completely cured. Who knows? Again? True, I had some trouble dealing with some problems while trying to fix things whether or not it has worked. But so far, I've been doing alright with some things I can't fix 100%, so all's not completely lost for me. Oh yeah, one more thing, for those who are asking when CNF is coming back, I've heard your replies and I ask that you all be patient. It's not every day you have every right to demand the show to be here, as always. While I appreciate some well-mannered comments, there are also other folks who need to be understanding about what I do in life. I'm not in any movie company businesses, and I don't make big bucks off of YouTube every day. I'm only busy with work, socializing friends in person slash online, family visits, and spending time with my new girlfriend. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say right now. Just a heads up about how I've been doing, what my plans are, how it's going to work in my future plans, and always being careful around people wherever I go outside to see people I know, including my lovely girlfriend, until the pandemic is over. With that said, stay safe, wash your masks by hand, and keep socializing in a distant area about two meters away from each other. And, most importantly, always wash your hands and body when you're home from work or other places you've been to. It's very simple and decent to get used to. I'm not demanding you, I'm encouraging you all to try. Because I care about all of you. And I'm sure you all care for each other as well. We're still going to make it, folks as long as we stay safe. So have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you all.